Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about why I think EA should take notes from 2K Sports, specifically in regards to FIFA 16's Pro Clubs and NBA 2K16's My Career. So being an avid sports gamer myself, I've followed both the FIFA and NBA series for several years, and I couldn't help but notice the large lack of improvement in Pro Clubs in comparison to My Career. Now let's start off by comparing the first thing you do for both modes, character creation. Now, if you play FIFA yourself, this probably isn't the first time you're hearing this, but FIFA's character creation has more or less been exactly the same from FIFA 09 to FIFA 16, with the only real difference being in the fact that they added the EA Game Face creator. Now, although EA's Game Face does work to a certain extent with the notion that you could upload an image of your face and then use your own face in game, its biggest flaw by far is that when you play pro clubs online, the only person who can see your uniquely customized game face is yourself and other users online would just see like a default character creation head in its place and this to me defeats the entire purpose of customizability because when you narrow it down to playing online exclusively the amount of character customization in FIFA has remained exactly the same for almost a decade now when we compare this to NBA 2K's customization there's a clear difference in development every year in NBA you'll see new options for different face styles, different hairstyles, a face scanning option that you can actually use online, and as of late, the options to add unique tattoos that you can actually adjust, tweak, and position yourself. But my contempt with EA's lack of improvement with pro clubs only begins with its character creation, because my second concern is the character development. The way that pro clubs approaches the way in which you improve and develop your player is either from the catalogue or through a list of accomplishments that you need to complete. And while some accomplishments are fairly reasonable, the majority are quite unreasonable and counterintuitive. For example, say you notice that your weak foot is particularly poor and you want to improve it. Well, the accomplishment for improving your weak foot is to score 10 long range goals with your current terrible one star rating weak foot. So accomplishments like these are a recurring theme in pro clubs and they're illogical and they ultimately encourage players to boost and exploit glitches as opposed to actually playing the game the right way. On the other hand, the way NBA approaches character development is through the notion of VC or virtual currency. Now the way that you earn VC in NBA is by simply playing the game and because VC is a multi-purpose in-game currency and it's not just restricted to one mode, it encourages players to have an incentive to experiment and try out other offline modes because as long as you're playing the game, you're earning yourself VC, which you can then spend to improve your player. Now, when you do choose to spend the VC on your player, you have the option to assign your coins on specific categories of attributes, so you can build and improve your player's attributes exactly the way that you want to. Personally, I think the idea of a shared in-game currency system would work really well with FIFA, where coins could be used for buying players or packs an ultimate team, as well as being spent to improve your attributes for your pro club's player. Lastly, let's talk about the actual gameplay. Now this is where NBA particularly shines, where FIFA chooses to keep their modes separate, such as having an offline player career mode entirely unlinked to your online pro club's career, NBA chooses to intertwine both the online and offline aspects of your my career. So if you play offline, you experience the campaign-like story mode of NBA, where you start in high school, you get drafted into the NBA depending on your performance, as well as having cutscenes that actually feature your customized player although they are pretty cheesy. Going online though, Pro Clubs offers limited customizability in comparison to NBA's equivalent 2K Pro-Am. In FIFA, you've got the option of selecting either a real-life club's kit or stadium. However, in NBA, players are actually able to customize the look of the entire jerseys as well as their arenas, which actually adds a whole new element of originality to your teams. Furthermore, online gameplay is really where NBA's My Career excels. Where FIFA's got no equivalent, NBA has a My Park mode where you choose to join a community of one out of three different parks. And as opposed to having a full 5v5 game with four quarters, My Park offers 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, and a 1v1v1 mode, which are a lot less time consuming to play. They've even got special features such as having a house rules every Wednesday night where players can actually vote on certain rules to play with. Another great feature with NBA is the degree of customizability. Other than their physical appearance, players can customize the way their players shoot, 
dunk, dribble, etc. As well as the um the outfits of their players, which adds an entire new element of originality as players really feel and look unique from one another. Additionally, NBA 2K16 introduced My Court, which is essentially like a little house for your My Player, where you can customize your walls, your couches, and your court, and actually invite your friends over to play games on your My Court. Conclusively, I don't think NBA is a perfect game with no room for improvement, but when you compare 2K's progress with My Career against EA's progress on pro clubs, it's evident that NBA has come a lot further in offering players a more immersive experience. Ultimately, I I think that EA should really put more focus on pro clubs as I truly believe there's an untapped market for the mode. Imagine that you could earn coins from playing games in both Ultimate Team and Pro Clubs, and you could spend the coins on either upgrading your player or on the transfer market on packs. And wouldn't it be cool to have like a FIFA equivalent to My Park, where you could customize the outfit of your players and have smaller five-a-side games of futsal? Honestly, that's just my two cents on the topic. I think Pro Clubs is a mode with heaps of potential, and EA shouldn't disregard it and focus exclusively on Ultimate Team. Otherwise though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.